Good morning, students. Today is Tuesday, April 7th, and it's the second official day of teacher-led e-learning. So we have a few things for you to do today, and I'm going to kind of quickly go over where you're going to find everything. Um, the first thing you need to know is that everything is always going to be linked on our agenda and in Otis. So you will notice that you have on notice in Otis that um, there is a column on the left hand side where you can access a lot of different things. You have a tab called lessons. So for this um, activity today, you should go to your lessons and you need to click on the lesson that says Tuesday 4-7-20, the My Perspectives Day. And you'll notice that at the top, it gives you the overview of the things that you're supposed to do and in what order you're supposed to do them in. So the first thing you're going to need to do today is take the Unit 5 pre-assessment, um, which is in your assessments tab. Now, if you clicked on this link, it would take you right to your assessments tab. Now, it looks different for me, but the, the thing that you're looking for looks like this, Unit 5 pre-assessment for CPS. So um, if you go there, you will find this document attached to that assessment. And the, the only thing you need to fill out today is the yellow column, okay? So this is the, the left-hand column, and you are assessing how well you can do these goals already right now. One, if you were to say, like, determine a theme or central idea of a text, I have no idea how to do that, you would highlight number one for this one and color it whatever color you want okay um if you said oh i'm a pro at this i can completely do this on my own i know exactly what a theme is and how to identify one you would say i'm at a five okay so you're just going to be highlighting in the yellow column um for all of these goals and assessing how well you can do these things right now so that's the first activity the second activity is to preview the vocab that is um, going to be seen in this reading and you're going to do that in Quizlet. So you're going to click on this link that says um, the Quizlet what on earth because that will go through several words that you are going to need to know in order to um, read the reading successfully. The next thing you are going to do is open the document that we're going to have you complete for this reading and that is also found in assessments. You will notice if you click on the link here, it will take you to your assessments tab. And it's going to either look like this, what on earth is left to explore activities, or what on earth is left to explore activities M. Doesn't matter which one you get, we just kind of split it up. And when you open that, you are going to get to this document. Okay, um, this document is the questions for the entire reading. And you'll notice that there's quite a few activities. And for today, you are just focusing on doing the pre-reading questions because this is before the reading. So you are going to answer these four questions in complete sentences and preferably in a different color font. Um, once that is done, you are done with that activity for now and you can go back to your lesson and see the, th the final step which would be to go to your online textbook. Um, and you are going to, sorry, my daughter is in the room with me and she's talking to me. You wanna say hi? Hi. Okay, so you're gonna to go to this reading here um, and you can go to that in many different ways. I put a link in here, not sure if it's gonna work. Maybe if you click on this, it'll take you to the text. Um, but if you don't remember how to get to the online textbook, what you need to do is go to Clever Click on the Pearson Realize, um, which will get you to this um, screen. You need to click on our student edition book, and then it'll say open a new window, and it'll pop up, um, well here, it'll pop up like this. It'll go to the front of the book, and then you are gonna need to go to the menu, table of contents, and go to unit five, and you wanna go to the introduction. Okay, the introduction will bring you to what on earth is left to explore. You can, of course, minimize all these things. Um, and you need to read this. You can also hide the picture. And you can always have it read to you by the um, computer. 
okay? So those are your, whoops, activities for today. They are in order on Otis and everything should be linked. I'm hoping it works. If for some reason some of these links don't work, please let us know. This is new to us as well. So we're really hoping that this works. Hopefully this gave you an overview of what you need to be doing today. Just remember you need to work for 30 minutes and whatever you don't finish on the activity document or the reading will be for you to work on tomorrow.